Hi, Hiram here. A couple of days ago I did a boil test on this Survival EDC Ultralight Titanium Alcohol Stove. I like to call it a SUTAS. S-E-U-T-A-S. Using four aluminum pop rivets as a pot stand. This combination came from a question that I got from Dirk Stabens or Stabens. Sorry if I said that wrong. He uh, sent me some information about something like this on sale on eBay and asked about it. So I did the test using aluminum rivets and it turned out that the aluminum rivets just couldn't stand up to the heat. They melted down by the end of the test. I showed in that video a uh, close-up of the rivets in their melted state and two of the rivets, the last ones, I had a tough time getting them out of this burner because they had actually melted down into the jets. So I figured I'd try this test again, this time using stainless steel rivets. I couldn't find anything, any of these around here in the valley, any of the stores, they just didn't cover, carry them. But I went to one of my favorite places for supplies, eBay again, and I found a, uh, an ad for a number 34 all steel pop rivets, 3 30 seconds by 1 quarter, a 10 piece pack. So I got one pack and just came the other day. I'll leave a link down below to the uh, eBay site for them. And so I stuck them in here and this was the test. I ran the same boil test. Two cups of water starting at 59 degrees and this is what it looked like. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 5 minutes 33 seconds, and let's just let it burn on from here. So the results of that test were that the water came to a boil in 5 minutes and 33 seconds compared to the 6 minutes and 49 seconds from the aluminum rivets. And I think that part of that might be because these steel rivets are 3 16th of an inch taller than the aluminum rivets were. I, think, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, but these are shorter. These are 3 16th of an inch longer. So that gives us that one inch sweet spot from the outside jets that burn to the bottom of the pot is just about one inch. And I think that was one of the reasons that it came up with a quicker time. Now here's some close up pictures of these rivets in the, the uh, burner yet. I don't think you'll be able to see it on this camera but here's a close up picture and you can see that they're nothing wrong with them. They're just a little darker than what, I, what they were when I put them in, but they worked. So, I think it must be stainless steel rivets that they have on that eBay ad for this. Oh, another thing I should mention. These rivets only work on this uh, Cetus. This is a knockoff of an Evernew stove, an Evernew burner. This is an actual Evernew. The rivets only work in the knockoff. When you go to try to put a rivet in these holes, 
they just won't go down in and I think that's because the Evernew has a liner on the inside whereas this knockoff doesn't it's all hollow so I think the liner gets in the way from you sticking the rivets in on this so unfortunately unless you modify it uh, these rivets just won't fit into a real Evernew but they will fit into this knockoff let's see anything else nope guess that about does it so I thank you for watching I thank Dirk Stabens for telling me about this setup giving us something to work with here um, again I thank you for watching I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.